test the limits of you and your rig, then look no further than Coffs Harbour. This place offers some of the hardest wheeling you'll find anywhere in Australia. And I'm about to tackle it in something a little different. Oh, I thought I'd bring the most capable vehicle I own, mate. To Coffs Harbour. To Coffs Harbour. Oh, stop it. That's right, the farm truck is taking on Coffs Harbour. Hey, <laughs> what a weapon! This is going to be one almighty challenge for the old 47. Oh, he's not holding back. And there's one thing you can guarantee. Things are going to get just a little bit loose. Uh-oh, uh I, can't, I can't hold it. Team, back up! That's a bit of a show stuff for boys. Well, I'm pretty excited. I'm back on a trip with Sean. Haven't seen him for about six or seven months now. And what's even better is we're bringing the old bush mechanic vehicles back. So I'm in the mighty pony and Sean's gonna be bringing Daryl down from Queensland and we're gonna hit up a couple of tough tracks over the next few days. So I'm super keen to hook into it, see my old mate Sean and have a bit of fun. He sent me a pin just up here, so I'm just gonna pull up and uh, wait for him and hook into it. How good's this, eh? Coffs Harbour in the pony, you beauty. Pretty soon, we're up at the start of the track. But so far, there's no sign of Sean or Daryl. Morbid Trail is an absolute Coffs classic. A long and technical climb that winds right up the mountainside, with heaps of ruts and rocks to navigate along the way, and calling for some pretty committed drives in the upper sections too. All we need now is Sean O. But when he shows up, it's not in the vehicle we expected. There they are, mate. There they are. It's a little bit late, but that's not too bad. It's always a little bit slower in the farm truck, mate. That's not Daryl. What? <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> I haven't told him to bring the farm truck yet. Oh, what a beast. <laughs> Mate! <laughs> I thought you were bringing Daryl. Oh, I thought I'd bring the most capable vehicle I own, mate. The Coffs Harbour. The Coffs Harbour. Oh, stop it. The big farm truck. Oh, the There's, a story. Back. There's a story why I brought this one, mate. Yeah, okay. Coffs Harbour, toughest tracks in the country. Yeah, well, it's going to bring Sooty. Yeah. Um, Cracked a head and done a turbo on Sooty, so yeah, it's out of action okay. for a little bit. Yeah. Um, Dirty 30's getting a bunch of work done, trying yeah. canopies off it, um, dashes apart, yeah. wiring job. Then Daryl, I was going to bring Daryl because we talked about getting yeah, Daryl yeah, and the yeah. pony out together. Turns out the auto blew up. Oh, so, there's a bit going on. So I was running out of vehicles real quick. It was this or the 200, so yeah. I thought I'll bring the real workhorse. Yeah, the most reliable one out of them all, stock standard. Yeah. And you brought it to Coffs Harbour. Coffs Harbour. And we're at the start of Morbid, mate. And this sweat is not just from the <laughs> hot inside here. <laughs> it's a bit nervous, mate. I'm, Oh, I don't know how she's going to go, but we're willing to give it a crack. Yeah, 100%. It's been a long time in between drinks, so uh, what do you say we get into some tracks, eh? Two you, Toyotas, lead the way. Lead the way, mate. Righto. You're not going up there, are you? Yeah, 100%. Let's do it. <laughs> yeah, right. There's no doubt this is going to be some of the hardest wheeling I've ever attempted in the farm truck, but I reckon this old girl might just surprise us. Joining me in the passenger seat is Josh. Now, this legend won a golden ticket to join us on an adventure and he's absolutely frothing for the chance to come for a wheel in the old paddock basher. Tim from Mitt's Alloy is wheeling the big 79 along with Jacko and for this trip they've swapped out the full size canopy for a smaller half canopy. Bailey also joins us from Maverick Campers and we're going to be using his Mint Ranger light camper as a base camp for the trip, leaving it at the trail head while we go wheeling for the day. There's a couple of line choices for the first section of Morbid, and I've decided it's time to give Jock the chance to shine at the front of the convoy. But leading clearly isn't for everyone, and he's barely gotten 50 metres up his chosen line before he's in trouble. <laughs> Look at Jock! <laughs> Jock's in a world of trouble already. Oh, I've cooked this, boys. First time up the front, and I've just... Oh, what's going on? I can't go back, and I can't go forward. <laughs> I was going to say, Jocko, it's not for everyone, mate, leading the pack. Um, I'll come up to the rescue if you like, big, big fella. You right, Jock? <laughs> I just don't think it wants to climb. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> and now's that. Barely a few minutes in and already the farm truck is the hero. In this case, as an anchor to help Jock get out of strife. There he goes, there he goes. Not much of a winch needed. Yeah, it didn't take much, mate. That's all she needed. Farm truck saves the day and we haven't even started yet. 
to the old farm truck. It's just like another day in the office for the old farm truck, mate. Getting hard jobs done since 1980. Built the country and now it's just got to wheel the tracks. <laughs> Soon enough, Jock's on the move again, and you know what? Jokes aside, that little pony is an absolute weapon. <laughs> this car just does whatever it wants to do. Go big tires, super slow, crawly boy. Big tires, ruction gears, wider wheel track. I've got none of those, but the farm truck's got a whole lot of fight in it. Might get a little bit bouncy. All right, well, let's see. This is where we come to a little, little bit of a park there. Of it. Now you've got to remember the old 47 is completely unlocked with no power steering. So finding the right line is everything. <laughs> no. As soon as you bump one side you dropped in the hole on the other. <laughs> All right, one more go at this. Come on farm truck. Rig, 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 rig. Ah! <laughs> go back and um, left hand down and try and get your nose over here. Yeah. <laughs> what a rig! Oh, it's hard work. <laughs> it's just got to do some fencing after this, yeah. so it's oh. getting ready. Oh yeah, no need for gyms when you drive the on old these things. Power steering. Oh, it's really hard to steer. What a rig! Oh. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! The big farm truck. What a weapon, Grandpa! <laughs> He'd oh. be proud, he'd be proud. And he would be proud. He would be angry at me driving like he'd that. Go. He would be, but oh, you don't need that. <laughs> <laughs> well, taking an old farm ute like that to Coffs Harbour is pretty keen, but she's got some fight in her for an old girl. Oh, how good's that? Who's next? Come on, Timbo. Yeah. The Myth 79 isn't just rocking a lighter dog box setup. The boys have also finally decided to twin lock it, and I reckon that's going to make a huge difference. That's it. Yep. Beautiful. <laughs> the big girl's a bloody dream boat with that locker. <laughs> the naughty button. Ah, <laughs> that is a naughty little button. Well, you can already see the difference it's made, Tim putting that shorter canopy on, even on the steeper stuff. 79s obviously like to lift wheels, but just having the weight further forward, I it's going to be a weapon on this trip. Yeah, that's it, mate. After his canopy caught on fire on our Cape trip last year, Bailey's seen the boys at Mitts and gotten himself a full-size canopy for the Ranger. This vehicle might be set up as a tourer, but Bailey's giving it a good crack on this tough section of track. That's it. That's it, mate. Well done. Mayo. A bit of the berries gets her up. When in doubt, throttle way up. That's it. I've always said that, haven't I? <laughs> Nothing bad has ever happened from nah. saying that, ever. Nah, never. So far, this track seems like a little walk in the park for the pony. And I've got a fair bit of work on my hands trying to keep up. Just like that. <laughs> Walks up. Soon, we're up into the higher sections of the track where things are about to get a lot more challenging. <laughs> nice work, Jocko. Well driven, mate. Oh, mate, that's a bouncy boy. You're going to have fun in the far truck. I'm still going. <laughs> <laughs> Don't go too far, mate. You might be uh, helping me come up here. That's a good noise. That's all the lockers work and doing that thing. <laughs> Would you 
you look at that? Somehow, this old beast of a truck is just eating it up. Out of the vehicle then. <laughs> Every time I see that thing drive something, it makes sense as to why those cars built this country. That is a weapon. Oh, stop it. Tim and Jacko are opting for the big boy line on the left. Come on, Timbo. But even with both lockers, it's not an easy job. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Loves it. Absolutely loves it. Oh, he's nice and controlled. <laughs> oh, what happened, mate? Oh, Timbo! Ah, it's too much pressure. Oh. Wait. <laughs> All right, go back a bit, mate. I panic. I know. I can tell. Go back a bit more. I'll go from there. You can do it if you want. That's it. That's it. Stay in it. Stay in it. You got it. You're up. That's what, it. Oh, Bailey's opting for the same line as a 47, and the rocks are soon flying as he fights his way through. More! Keep going! More momentum! That's it. There we go. Take it, Bales. That's it, mate. That's a go. Keep going! Keep going! Keep going! More! No! More! 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 Come on, Bales! That's it, mate. Go back, mate. Oh, my, she just slipped off. Right hand down. That's it, mate. That's it. That's the go. With that, we're all up. But I reckon the old trucks might have won this one. <laughs> I put my safety glasses on for that one and everything. That noise that we heard a few minutes before on the 47 has only gotten worse, and now the car is overheating pretty badly. Well, this is not that great because we just heard a bit of a noise. We couldn't actually work out what this noise was, it was like a ticking noise, something rotating, and we couldn't really work it out. And then the temperature gauge spiked and um, started dripping a fair bit of cooling out. So it's overheating and something is not quite right. I'll have a quick squeeze in here and hopefully Oh, yep. Yep, that's the belt. Well, the good news is it's in one piece, but that's not how it should look. So it's, it's cut a few teeth. The belt has, um, well, it's perished. It's a bit old, I suppose. And I don't know if I've got a spare, which is a bit of an annoying problem to have halfway up Morbid Trail. Luckily for me, there's one person in the convoy you can always rely on to carry every spare under the sun. And Jocko might just have the solution we need. It's pretty close. Jocko's got a few spares with a Hilux, with a big pony lux, so this one is a lot narrower, but it's very close to the same size, and it's... It might just get us out of trouble. Obviously, we should replace our belt in town anyway. No, nah, it'd be good for another 500, no, mate. Leave it, mate. <laughs> yeah. The pony getting the job done. That's actually not too bad. That's very similar. Just, I reckon if we just get it on there, if the grooves sort of half line up, and then we can tighten it right up. Might be on. Let's have a go. Pony saves it though. Let's try it first. I'll give you that one back so you can use that as a spare. Yeah, I'll use this. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, mate. <laughs> well, if this actually works, I'll be super amazed. It's the wrong, wrong width belt, but it sort of fits. So we're going to tighten that up. I might just actually get a lot of tension on that belt so it does grip a little bit. Yeah. <sighs> I don't know. If this gets me out, well, that's well done. The moment of truth, let's give it a go and see if it stays on and spins that fan. Is it spinning? I think it's working. Yeah, that'll work nicely. If anything, it's probably more of a racing belt because yeah. it's got a smaller profile, less weight. Well, that's why it's in the pony. Yeah, I'm all about weight. <laughs> just Narrow belts, horsepower. Exactly yeah. right. So, little tip for 40 owners. Um, we were with Hiluxes. 
We'll rather see yeah, all day, they stick together. <laughs> they stick together, mate. Well, let's get going then, eh? Right, we'll close this up. No need to look in here anymore. <laughs> oh, unbelievable. That's a win. That's it. That never happens. And just like that, we're back on the move. We can get stuck into some real challenges. Scrubby boys, how good a scrub bars? Wee wee! <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Oh, Timbo, you're going to have fun with that in the 79, mate. <laughs> you won't lift a wheel. You won't lift every you wheel you've ever had. Wheel. There's the first little one. Is it Lucky Dogs on? <laughs> that is so sweet. Where am I turning in? That's it. Yep, I'm going now. There go. Yes. Beautiful. That's it. You're right. You're right. You're all good. Right hand down a bit, mate. Right hand down a bit. Right hand down. That's it. Start on that. Yeah. Morbid Trail only gets more difficult the further up you go, and up ahead are the two biggest and most fun challenges of the track. Wow, super steep, and this is what they call one of the hardest sections of Morbid without a doubt. This is the bit, if I remember correctly, I gave the keys to Sooty last time we were here to my brother, he nearly <laughs> rolled it about here. It's pretty, I don't want to put you guys off your game or anything, but this is probably the hardest bit of the whole track. I think you guys with um, lockers and stuff, you might have half a chance. Farm truck, I'll make it look easy, so just try and keep up with that, I suppose. <laughs> yeah. so just watch what I do and do it heaps better. All right, well, let's get Jocko up. He will actually drive this. The, the pony's built for tracks like this. Look at this thing, it's got a presence on the tracks. Even hesitate. <laughs> so cool for it. All right, Tim, do you want to go in front of me, mate? I'm just, I'm just gonna try and just make sure that belt's good. That we <laughs> change before. Holy heck! What a weapon! Why are you, you gonna do that? Shaft with yourself about that, mate. I did not. I thought I was just gonna dip out and stop. How come you're such an overachiever? <laughs> so it's the car. It does whatever it wants. It's got a mind of its own. That thing. It's like, oh yeah, we're gonna go out that hill, righto? Well, we've got some big shoes to fill after that drive. And I don't think I've attempted something as hectic as this in the farm truck before. Farm truck, this is your moment to shine. So imagine you've got a big fencing contract up the top of this hill. Let me get up there before the sun's down. Come on, farm truck. Oh. That's oh. I mentioned before that getting the right line is key and I'm just aiming to avoid falling into any of these ruts where I know I'll just dip out. Beautiful. That's a car that will teach you how to wheel. Oh, you gotta really earn it. <laughs> oh, easy bit. Come on. Power! Come on! Come on! Ah oh, yes, this whole thing. Oh. <laughs> little based. Just needs that little rear locker. I'm 100% relying on tyres and suspension here to get the job done. And you know what? We're actually making good progress. That's it. Come, Come on, on farm truck. Come on! Ah, oh, oh, dip it. dog. Oh, that'll do me. That'll do ya. That'll do me. That's a good little drive. That's, 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 that'll do. That'll do. Yep, 
just look at that rock under the rear. There's no way I'm getting over that last step. So it's out with the runver. Oh, Bailey, is it, is it bound up down there? Sorry? Is it bound up down there? No, it's just... Whoa! <laughs> gotcha! <laughs> All right, come on. Let's be serious here. <laughs> <laughs> Got him. Classic. <laughs> Sorry, Viles. <laughs> You're concentrating so hard, too. After skull-dragging the diff over that rock step, Sean can have a crack at the top section of the challenge. Stop <laughs> there. <So nice. laughs> That's it! That's it! Oh, I was there! I was there! Sarah! That was so good! Oh, I thought I was going to make that. I was like, getting ready for my hero speech. Oh. And then... <laughs> oh. That's his horse in the mud. Oh, is it? <laughs> oh, it was a tyre. Nah. You're kind of stuck now. Oh, well. You know, I still reckon that was a damn good crack. And the 47 has absolutely surprised me with just how capable it is. One quick little winch and they'll be out of trouble. I've got to say, that's actually pretty darn impressive. I was expecting to be hanging off the old runner a bit more today, but you know what? The farm truck really has held its own on this track. It's, it goes to show, it doesn't really have any mods except for some tyres and some shocks, and that's about it. And it's getting the job done. Well, most of the job done. <laughs> well, Tim's going to come up here. He's going to be the big 79 up. It's twin lock 35s, but it does love to pick a wheel up. And if you've got to pick a wheel up, I reckon there's a couple of good spots in here. So he's gonna get his line right, his momentum just perfect. It's gonna be entertaining, I'll give you that for free. Righto Timbo, we can't wait to see this mate. <laughs> Come on big luggage. We know from experience that the Achilles heel of any 70 series is its rear spring hangers. And I reckon Timbo's gonna have a big challenge on his hands to make it up yeah. this one. That's not where the farm truck got stuck, it was up a bit further, eh? <laughs> <laughs> We've got the sledges on underneath that rear really diff. Yeah, try that again, but it's better. <laughs> That'll be something. You might, you might have to go back a, a back o. Might turn into this. Just as I did on the old 47, Tim's really got to try to avoid falling into those ruts. You sure can go up. I think you should, yeah, straddle it. I think your hard left or hard right is your best, mate. Yeah, hard right. Farm truck line. That's Farm. It. Truck line, that's a ticket. That's the one. It's better. He's better. Beautifully done. Get the pop up. Oh, yeah. You got this. I reckon just a bit of momentum. Just get her up there. Nothing can go too bad. That right there <laughs> could turn out to be famous last words. Go, 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 go. A bit more than that, a bit more than that. That's it. Just go back good. and give it a, give it a, give another go. I've heard of this place Mitz Alley and they can replace your boxes. <laughs> <laughs> you get it like half price if you dinner, mate. Yeah, if, if you take a photo. <laughs> what do you reckon? Well, send it, that's what we can do. We're here. Am I straight? Get straight, keep them straight. And just give it some good rolling momentum. That's it. Whoa. I love the sound of it. It's a lovely noise though, isn't it? Yeah. <sighs> It's serenading the hill with a love song of rumble. It's just, yeah, you, you, you know what's going on back I there. I know what's <laughs> happening back there. Look at the pivot he's spring hanger, mate. I know, look at that. 
So some potatoes in that, big old French. Is that straight? Yep. That CV's making a bit of a, a bit of a noise out there. That'll be up from there. Ah. Oh, that didn't sound good. No, it was a rock. Oh. Was it? Yeah, yeah, it was a oh, rock off my noise then. That is a good noise. That's the type of noise we like. Yeah, I don't think that was a rock, eh? Oh, it's heaps of banging doing. I don't... No, it was an axle. I don't think that was a rock. Just um, load it up in first, just a little bit. Keep going. I reckon it's this front, this side. Ah, oh, bugger. He's, you know, Tim's actually made it. He's got, come over the rock step. He, he's in the clear, however, something has snapped. We know that, but we don't know what at yeah, this stage. So we're gonna get him on the winch. First things first, we're gonna to need to get the 79 somewhere a little less hairy so we can diagnose the problem properly. I get the rear axle. That's all right, it's just moving around. There'll be some heinous sounds. There's not much we can do about it. Yeah, I think it's back right axle. Probably not. Yeah, that'll do. Righto, so we've decided with all the clanking and banging that we're just gonna see if we can get in and see uh, where the rear axle is broken. It's a common thing on 79s for them not to snap at the ends. Usually when they snap, if you're lucky, it'll snap at this face here or in the center, in which case you can pull the center out and knock it out. That's happened to Sean's vehicle before. Sometimes though, they snap right in the middle and that just becomes a bit of a showstopper. So we're hoping that if we can knock these cone washers out, hopefully this front face will just go bloop and we'll be able to pull the axle out, get back on the tracks and off we go. See what happens. After a few minutes on the tools, we've got the axle ready to come out, but the news isn't good. Oh no. Where is it? Oh, oh that's a pain. Probably back should have thought about that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's ideal. Bugger. That's a very less. That's thing. a bit of a showstopper, boys. Mm -hmm. uh. The problem we've got is that removing the broken piece of axle is going to make for a very difficult trackside repair. So, the best thing is for it now is to get the 79 on the end of the run butt and winch it to the top. At least there'll be some flat ground to try and access things properly. We might be over this challenge, but we're not out of the woods quite yet. Well, this is the last challenge on Morbid. Now, this one usually catches us out because it's got a couple of big steps on the way up. It's a lot of clay, very, very slippery. So you're gonna need horsepower, big tires, Jocko's got big tyres, doesn't have the horsepower. Boy, that is slippy. I need studs for this. There he goes, there he goes. Yeah, yeah. You gotta drive it. You gotta drive it. Yeah, come on! Keep on budgie! Oh! That is... So, oh, that's good! This didn't have any power! I oh, know, you just ran out of bunt when you're like three quarters of the way up. Uh, Give it a rev. Yeah. Oh. yeah, do that again, Jock. You got it. You've got this. back you the rear came up and then it fell down again yeah. That's a go, what a rig. <laughs> oh what a weapon I smell clutch coming up I was in third and my foot was flat and it was just losing revs and just like sitting there spinning and it wasn't even stuck and that was second just then with that like good. everything it had. You know, there's not many times in my life where I've actually looked at a 2.8 Hilux and gone, that's got a bit of power, eh? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't think anyone's ever said that no, ever. No, I've had to jump the old big 2.8, mate, yeah. and uh, we're going to get red, okay? There we go. I'm going to need seatbelts. I say this all the time, but I mean it. Well, the farm track has two more cylinders than the pony, so I'm always not holding back. 
The old girl is giving it a good crack, but this one might just be a bit too much of a hurdle. Nah, the tyres are just a little small for this one. That's me. Yeah. There's not much choice for us here to winch it all the way to the top. And the same thing goes for Timbo and the 79. For both of us, it's a big winch with a few resets. And by the time the mid truck is up, night is almost upon us. Bailey gives it a fair old shake of the sauce bottle, but he too has to hook up the runver. Well, I've got to be honest with you, that's a really cracking way to start off a Coffs Harbour trip. Start on morbid. You know, night's falling, we're just about to go to camp and um, we've got breakages already and we haven't even hit the hard tracks yet. So, cutting your teeth on more of it is a great way to start in my opinion. While we're getting Bailey up the last challenge, Tim and Jacko have been removing the axle for the drive out and on closer inspection they've got some good news. That's oh, the spawn. Is it? You beauty! Yes! <laughs> That's a feel good story. It is, it is. You might be yes. wondering why we're so excited. We've got a broken axle in our hand and we're, we're cheering like this because <laughs> that, that right there is a bit of spine. So that means that it's broken right at the side of the head. We'll be able to get that diff center we'll be able out. To get the diff out. And then. Because if that was snapped halfway down, oh. you can't get the diff out and the whole housing is, is buggered. Cool. Pretty much. So <gasps> this means that we can punch out that little broken yes. bit of stub out of the centre. Slap a new one in. Slap a new one in and we are good to go. Or you You're don't even need a new one. one. You just, just three wheel drive it. You'll be all right. <laughs> it's been a pretty eventful first day on the tracks of Coffs Harbour. And right now we're just keen for a beer and a feed. Luckily for us, we've got a little spot lined up just a few minutes down the road. And tomorrow we can come up with a game plan for the 79. Well, I hope you guys are loving our Coffs adventure. I mean, any time I get the keys to that 47, I just have a smile from ear to ear. But I tell you what, if you're after a GPS, this one here is the brand new VMS one. We've been mucking around with this one down in Coffs Harbour, but I've been mucking around with it, even the 200, because it's got every single four wheel drive map that I'll ever need preloaded onto this set of maps. Plus, it's got a 3D view, which makes it really easy to follow. I'm up in Cape York at the moment, just having a look at a couple of tracks for maybe a bit later on this year. But right now we actually have them on our website at fullwheeldrive247.com. And as an introductory offer, you can save yourself 50 bucks and pick these up for $499. Now if you're serious about doing some remote area full wheel driving or you want a good quality GPS in your full wheel drive, you really can't go past the VMS. So you can get it at fullwheeldrive247.com at that price, but only while stocks last. We've got a little saying over here at Full Wheel Drive 24-7. The number one mod you can do to your full wheel drive when going to Coffs Harbour is get a new set of seat covers and uh, probably don't know how to explain why. It gets pretty few pucker moments up there, there's no doubt about it. And it's actually competition time as well, which fits in quite nicely because I've got five sets of these custom Razorback seat covers to give away, custom with the Full Wheel Drive 24-7 logo. So if you want to get a set of seat covers for your rig, got five to give away, let us know in the comments your scariest moment behind the wheel of a Full Wheel Drive. Let us know in the comments and I'm going to choose out five winners to win some Full Wheel Drive 24-7 custom Razorback seat covers. When you're after an easy spot to camp in Coffs that's right next door to the region's wildest tracks, it's hard to go past Coffs Harbour camping and four-wheel drive. Not only is it super convenient, but it's got plenty of flat grass and even some friendly locals. When you're travelling around like we do, it's rare to spend more than one night in a campsite and having a quick and convenient camping kit makes all the difference. Our first priority for the day is to see if we can find a spare axle for the 79 and Tim is soon on the blower, ringing around for a second hand part. Righto, so we've got a bit of a game plan this morning. First things first, Timbo's on the phone right now, we're going to try and chase down a new rear driver side axle for the big cruiser and then once that's done we've just got to pull the centre out, get the old end of the uh, axle, the splined end, out of the centre and then put it back in, put the axle back in and then we'll be back on the track. So. Bit of a big morning, but we should be able to hook into it and hopefully we'll be out wheeling in no time. We've actually had a real stroke of luck today and Tim's not only found a part, but also someone with a hoist in town, which is gonna make getting this repair done super easy. So now we've just got to pack up, whip through town and we'll be back on the tracks in no time.
After a little bit of time in the hoist, the 79 has a new axle in it, and we can turn our size to a track that I've got a very checkered history with. Well, mate, I'm so stoked that it was an easy-ish fix, you know, get the right tools of the job and bingo, it um, came out. It's actually a good break if you get, uh, choose to have a good break, that was it. Yeah, man, it was an epic little break and just ducked into town and young Jack Boy, you hooked us up, what a legend. That's the good thing that costs, mate. All the tracks are nice and close. Speaking of which, mate, we're just about to uh, go and have a look at Commando. Now, you've no doubt heard about this one. Yeah, it's pretty infamous in your circle, buddy, that's for sure. Yeah, mate, I've got some history with that track. Look, I reckon we go and have a look at it today, and um, there is a bypass as well if we don't feel fit to drive it, but I, something tells you, mate, with your new axle in the back there, you'll be quite fit. Mate, we'll go and have a look and do some assessing, eh? and then we'll make some big promises then. <laughs> it sounds like a plan. And here it is, the commando track. I've only driven this track twice in my life, and in one of those occasions, I rolled my pride and joy, the Dirty 30. This track is short, sharp, and pretty darn scary. And Jocko is going to be taking it on first. Oh, this step is much bigger when you get closer to it. It is, actually. <laughs> it is. Oh, Commando. She hasn't changed too much. No. Look Still at a this. big track. I know. I remember getting one of the biggest wheel lifts of my life. Actually, then the bigger wheel lift was up there, because I had <laughs> all the wheels off the ground. Do you reckon you bring the farm truck up? Not a heck of a lot of farming to be done on this on this True. Track, if there was a fence up the top, <laughs> she'd go straight up by herself. Exactly. I might take the bypass. If it had a rear locker, I'm not making excuses right now, but I think I'd have half a chance. Unlocked, I don't think I've got it in me, mate. The farm truck might not be up for this one, but there's a spare seat in the pony, and I reckon it's time I give Jocko some much-needed driving lessons. Just want to let you know, mate, my history with this track. I've got a 50% chance of landing on my side okay. when I drive this track. Well, I've lent this car on its side a couple of times. <laughs> so between the two of us, we have a 100% chance of binning it. <laughs> I like those odds, mate. Yeah, I like those it. odds. It feels very stable. It is, until it's not. Until it lands on its lid. No wonder <laughs> they got the nickname Rollbox back in the day. I was trying to straddle this, I reckon. I think it's a great idea. Use the scrub dogs on the bank if I need to. Unless the bum slips in. Very well done. Very well Quite done. Like this. Very good. Very good. Turn right, please. Going in the rut, are you? I'll try and stay out of it. Well there we go, straight well up, little well rig, well done. Loves it. <laughs> oh, what a weapon. It is a beast. It is a little beast. Oh, that's Look fun, that. isn't it? Commando. Wow. Oh, that's insane. That is really very <laughs> impressive. How cool is that? This car is very capable, eh? It goes all right. Yeah, it's a little rig. It smells like wee in here. <laughs> that's, that's me. me sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Air brakes on, mate. That's right. Come on, come Binding on, Binding up the rear locker a bit, you know? Go, a little bouncy boy. That's like 8,000 half the average. We weren't even moving. 4,000. <laughs> That's my roller right there. Oh, let's do it. The old double step might be a bit interesting. Yeah, this is my roller. Whoa! Loves Whoa. it. Loves it. Loves All it. Day, All right. day, sir. All day. Twice on Sundays, mate. <laughs> oh, this thing's a rig. It is actually a rig. Oh, oh, there's a wombat. Right in the well driven dock. There we go. It bounces away up. It yeah. loves life, eh? The, I like, reduction gears are so good for getting the nose up and then you plan it and just get some torque and the rear can just... Yeah. Once again, the pony has just made it look all too easy. But this is not a track for the little trucks. And that just leaves Timbo to try and follow Jock's line. One way or another. This is going to be wild. Righto, so Timbo's up next in the big 79, and the good news is there's plenty of traction there to play with. You've got lots of freedom to move around a bit. Now, I reckon the key is to get yourself up that first step and then square up the tail of the vehicle for this step, because there's a huge rut you don't want to miss. But uh, I reckon that said, he's going to lift some spectacular wheels down the bottom. So it'll be cool to see. Might need to give him a spot, but it should be fun. Yeah, 
Yeah, to the left. To the left, to the left, to the left. As far as that's going in. Beautiful! Is it mid? Perfect! That's it. That's it. Yep. That's it. Now right hand down a bit. Right hand down. Right hand down. That's so, okay though. You just went up the bank a bit. If you just yeah. came in right, you would have made that. Just yeah. um, do a little bit of a rollback, just a touch. A little more. A little more. Yep. Yeah. I'm trying to just give it a bit of a go from there. But you need to sort of get a bit of rolling momentum just to bounce the rear up. That's it. Beautiful, Beautiful mate. Well done. Beautiful. Well, well done. done. That's it. That's it. Okay, go back a bit. A little bit of left, I think. Yeah. It's a little bit of yeah, left. Yeah, that's it. Left hand down, mate. Yep. Yep. Come forward on that. You kind of want to do that in one go. If you can, just nice and steady. Go back a little bit more if you want to. A little more. Stop there. Left hand down, mate. Uh, yep, come forward. Yeah. Yep, like that. You might need to do a little bit of a re-clutching. Just roll forward and back just to help your steering. Front locker life, baby. Yep, now left. Go, 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 go. That's it. Yeah, yeah baby, yeah. yeah. Well done. Well done. That's well done. Perfect. Yeah. Outstanding, mate. Well done. Well done, mate. I'm very oh, happy about that. That's a really, really good drive. <laughs> oh, you know, perfect. perfect. In my Personally, with the sweat coming, this is the hardest <laughs> track I've ever driven. Eh? Like, I get when you nervous, need to, yeah. and it's commitment. That's a scary track at the best of times. Oh. That was a perfect line, though. Absolute perfect. Oh. He's happier to be on that side of the track. Yeah. <laughs> Timbo, mate, that was a pretty epic drive, and with the big challenge cleared, the boys are on fire. They're sending the big rig straight to the top. Big 79s is loving it. Hectic. Mate, I've got to say, amazing drive. Like, honestly, Thanks, the best drive I've seen you do ever. Thank you. And it, awesome. it really is. This is a tough track. Make no mistake about yeah, it. I'm pumped to be here. I Mate. didn't, I honestly, I was at the bottom going, we're getting the winch out today. <laughs> and I was a bit I, gutted. Look, I assume you'll be winching a fair bit, but you've obviously set this vehicle up to drive tracks like this. It's, yeah. it's come a long way. We've been doing a lot ourselves in-house with our outfitters, so because we do the trays and boxes, we're constantly getting asked for like, info on what to do next, you know, okay. and how to set up the touring rigs. So we've been providing that, and now we're providing a line of products to go along. So it's like a well. one-stop shop, Mitz. You don't yep. just go there for just a tray and canopy. You can get a truck decked out just like yeah, this. Yeah, absolutely. So the outfitters store, they'll just sort it all out for you. Yeah, how good's that? You know, yep. I mean, that's taken a lot of the guesswork out for someone, you know, who's come into four-wheel driving, they want to get a train canopy, they don't know what's the springs to run, they want to get some yeah. bar work, do I need lockers, all the stuff to make their vehicle ready for camping, touring, driving tracks, and what you can just go to your, your shop and just get the whole thing done. Yeah, absolutely. Like, you, we, we know what you need to do with the tray and box, and we know what we've been recommending for the last five, six years with parts and everything else. Considering how you built this truck, mate, it just works so bloody well on these tracks. Coffs Harbour's not usually a place for 79s. No. This thing has eaten it up, mate, it has eaten it up. Mate. Look, I'm gonna go down and get the farm truck. I'd love to come and drive this one, but the farm truck is not kitted not out. I reckon I need it. to take it to Mitz Outfitters. I reckon yeah. I need some lockers, I need some bigger tires. I reckon I might just go around the other um, access way, take Bailey with me, yeah. and I've got a campsite, which is, you need to see it to believe Oof. it, mate, and there's a little swimming hole on the way. So I don't wanna give away too much, but I need, to, just I need get... to swim, I'm sweating oh, no. after that drive. <laughs> I know, mate. Let's get into it, eh? Cheers. Coffs Harbour might be known as one of the hardest wheeling destinations in the country, but it's got a whole lot to offer when it comes to camping and sightseeing as well. And for our next stop, we're heading to one of the nicest swimming spots you'll ever see out the back of Ballinger. This min stretch of water is called the Promised Lands, and it's the perfect way to wash the dust off the track. Oh, who's that 
cross over was just about tough wheeling. Tell you what, it's nice when you're driving a four wheel drive here, mate. Good <laughs> hit. Good morning, mate. <laughs> oh, it's oh. nice when you have a vehicle that doesn't have aircon to just cool off in this pristine water. What a magical place, hey. Unbelievable, mate. Oh, how lucky are we? Unbelievable. Whee! Now, if you think this spot is special, wait until you see the campsite I've got lined up for us later. To get there, we're taking a bit of a trek further inland to a hidden corner of the region called Darkwood. We've got a hip camp lined up right on the river. It's a bit of a drive, but well worth the effort. Well, boys, what a stunning part of the world to roll a swag out in, eh? What do you reckon? Mate, I uh, never been this far out from Belgium before. Stunning bit of the world, absolutely right. Right near a river, that's about as good as you can get for a campsite, mate. Grass onto a beautiful river. Oh, mate, I cannot wait to sit down there with a cold beer, and uh, I think uh, you're on cooking tonight too, I am. Yeah, I can't wait to make a mess in that Maverick trailer, mate. I'm gonna make a huge mess, and I've got a really good idea tonight. We're gonna cook, and um, you'll see a bit later, mate, but it's, it's gonna be awesome. And just look at that, a camp spot literally on the water and the whole place to ourselves. What an absolute cracker. The Ranger Light might be one of the more compact campers in the Maverick range, but it packs a lot of cool features and is incredibly simple to set up. With camp set up, it's well and truly beer o'clock. We've soon got the fire lit and the camp chairs out. What do you reckon? Pretty good spot, right? And for the boys, well, it just gets better because I'm about to cook up a feast and this one is a recipe one of you guys submitted. Well, how is this for a campsite? I mean, I'm lucky enough to travel around the country a heck of a lot, and it's not very often you find a place like this. It's so green out here, the back of Belgian, and even better than that, I get to take over the Maverick right now because I'm cooking an absolutely epic meal. This one's a little bit different because recently on the beers in the shed, we had, uh, I asked for a couple of suggestions for a recipe I should cook when I'm at camp. And this one here has been submitted by Dylan, and actually it was his wife, Kat, that actually made this recipe. It's a pulled pork burger. I'll say that in a mouthful, pulled pork burger. And um, this one's an absolute stunner. It looks like it at least. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start off with the camp oven, of course. Now, pulled pork does take a little bit of time. So if you get into camp early like we have, it's a perfect little recipe to get started. So I'm gonna cut a couple of onions up first. Oh, mate. What are you actually making? I don't just know Just onions. This. Just onions, <laughs> just a big pot of onions. Yeah, that's that's right. how to be a good cook. Just Brown some of them off no, and they'll smell nice. We're not and that's even browning these off, mate. We're doing a pulled pork. You would have put a bit of pork in your time. I have <laughs> put a bit of pork in my time. Well, I'm not going to lie, it's delicious. I'm basically chucking these onions in. What's going to happen at the end of this? Two and a half hours, slow cooked pork. It's going to absolutely melt. It's going to pull apart. Also, just quietly, how comfy is this, hey? Really comfy, it's mate. Good spot I, to watch it. I tell you what, that, that, I might be pulling a bit of pork up there a bit later. <laughs> yeah, you and me both, mate. <laughs> Well, speaking of that, mate, do you mind getting the pork out? Yes, actually, I think it's in Bailey's fridge, so I might go and grab it. And we'll then, do that, do that. Yeah, and, um, ooh, I'm spilling beer in here already. <laughs> so you got yourself this an is why jacket. I can't have nice things. All right, I'll That's, go get the pork. I want to cut the rest of these onions, and um, the trick is not to cry. All right, so I'll leave you with that. That's the pork. Unreal. It's going to be delicious. Cool. It's going to be right. absolutely well, I'll leave you with gorgeous, it. Sing mate. out if you need a hand, eh? Easy, mate. Yeah, we're just going to pull your pork out of the little sheath here. I'm going a little bit gourmet here tonight. Just cut that fat straight off. We've got ourselves a pretty big old uh, pile of pork here. I'm going to cut this into quarters. So, aim is it does cook a little bit quicker when you cut it down. Look at that. That goes straight into the pan there. They're going to sit on top of the onions. The onions are basically going to become a bit of a, a bit of a trivet. So, they're going to keep off the bottom so they don't stick to the bottom of the pan. There we go. They're going to sit right in there like that. So the next step, I'm gonna basically put a bit of stock in here. Now, we're going a little bit crazy. I'm putting a, a litre of, this is our vegetable stock. 
So a bit of barbecue sauce, probably half of this. That's going straight in over the top of it. And what you're gonna notice, it's gonna be super moist. And you've seen this one here on the table. This is a Tabasco Sriracha. So depending on your taste is how much chili you want in this one. That's, a, that's quite a bit, this is quite hot, so don't go crazy, mate, a little bit more. Go a little bit more, we're gonna make this nice and spicy. Beautiful. Salt and pepper, bit of paprika um, has been advised. Righto, as simple as that, that's the pork done, lid goes on, straight into the coals. Oh. It's <laughs> gonna here, mate. Mate, there's a bit of heat in the old There's fire. a little bit of heat. Yeah. Get a couple more of those coals get, out. There yeah, we go, yeah, yeah that's, that's the money shot right in there, mate. Yeah, perfect. Back that on. We'll get another face oh. for the lid. If you can get some on the lid. Just want to get some nice heat into this one to start with. Righto, the old uh, camp oven's on now. We've got coals top and bottom. So what I'm going to do here is leave it for about two and a half hours until that pork basically falls apart. You want to check it probably about halfway. Make sure you've still got liquid in the bottom because if you don't have liquid, add a little bit more water, a little bit more stock. Right, so what's up next, mate? mate? You're just cutting some cabbage. I'm making, I'm making a slaw. <laughs> have you ever made a slaw before? I haven't, but I've eaten slaw. Cabbage, I'll start cutting that up. Yep, if you yep. could actually get some apples, they go well with pork. Now, yeah, me, they do. Hear me yeah, out, yeah, hear me yeah. out. Some carrots, and we're gonna make a big old mess here. All right, mate. Oh, well, Chucko, carrots, well done, mate. Well done. I'm gonna get a couple of carrots off here. <laughs> What's going on with you, mate? Oh, I'm just excited. I'm no, excited. And I am too, mate. Oh, pork. Look at this. You got two, two you got <laughs> good apples. You need a couple of these when you're driving traps. You like do. Like yeah. Yeah. Cost, an apple oh, a day, I'll, mate. Let's just chuck all that mm -hmm. straight into. If you had a bowl, even better, but use two at once. Two at once. That, that shows you're a pro. You can use half the head because <laughs> you gotta get some grip. <laughs> And you should be careful not to not to do your knuckles here. Yeah, ah. yeah be careful with your knuckles, mate. <laughs> there might careful. be a bit of figure that on this coal slaw. <laughs> well, you're good at that, Jocko. You got, Thanks, mate. Yeah, it's up and down. <laughs> you got some rhythm, don't you? Yeah, I do. Ladies, single. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> Apple, straight in. What I'm gonna go straight into these ones, mate. Have you seen these ones around? These are the oh, habaneros. That's a big boy. These are hot. I've never grated a chili before, but you can, I've heard you can grate Don't pretty much anything. Don't wipe your eyes oh, yeah. afterwards or, or your noodle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. How much? Not too much. <laughs> that, Do you the, get a bit the, of? The spice coming off that, that chili went up my throat, that is. That is all time. Is there another one? I don't think we should have any more just ever. One. <laughs> ever. That's just taste a little bit. Tell me if it's like it looks like capsicum to me. To be mm, honest, it does, I'll yeah. try a bit too. Just jokes. I was if I would. That's oh really no! <laughs> <laughs> is it hot? Is it hot? Hot. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, I'm, I'm actually missing a bit of skin myself, mate. That's, you gotta be careful with the grater. This is all going in. This is the old egg mayonnaise, Jocko. Whole egg mayonnaise. I know a few blokes are like right. that. Oh, <laughs> that was about three quarters of one of those. So you ever had eggs before? Just just get that mix in. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get it in there. That's enough. I, I'm putting a bit of extra, mate. <laughs> you can probably tell. We've got a bit of honey. Now, honey? Yeah, it's, it's just, a, just a little bit of honey. We're just going to go like that. And then, now you could use lemon juice when you go out camping. Not only people bring apple cider vinegar. Take a sip of that, because that is actually quite good for you. Corona, Corona. <laughs> it's good. <laughs> a lot going on in there. No, oh, well, you don't need much of this, to be honest with you. No, you don't. Yeah, that's about enough. that much. We'll about do that. That, that actually looks like a, a really good little slaw. It does. Like I said, it's, Let me have it's, a taste. <laughs> Is it yum? That's a pretty good slaw. This is my dinner here. This is usually how I eat at home. So <laughs> I'm get, gonna need to go I'll clean get my that. hands. You clean yourself. Right, right, that sounds good. <laughs> oh. Well, obviously, just open it up to have a little bit of a look in here. This is what we're dealing with. The pork has fallen apart. It's exactly what you want. So get a couple of forks. You should be able to pull it just straight up. It's, you know, you could go a little bit longer if you wanted to, but tonight we decided the boys are hungry. We, we left it a little bit late to put the pulled pork on. Oh, there's so much pork. Mate, that's come up well. It's come up really well. I have a little, you know, little, what? I'm making a bit of a mess. A here. little taste. Mm, yummy. Mm, it's yummy, mm. isn't it? Look at that. You just want to. That's good and tasty. <laughs> Yum. That's actually. It's actually lovely, mm. isn't it? Have you ever had this drama, Jock? How are you trying to pull Pull them when you should. <laughs> I, I do it a lot, mate. And like, what I find is the harder you go, 
They're easier at pools. <laughs> But there's a fair bit of pool pool quality. There is a lot. You've done some and pulling. And there's a stack in there. I reckon we start building a couple of burgers mm -hmm. and yep. get the boys in here because this is looking absolutely unreal. I'm Ooh, very that, excited. That one's, that one's ready. We yeah. don't even have plates. We're not. We don't. We don't need plates, we're not, mate. We've we're got not, not full. Pool. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Wait, I'm, I'm going to grab this one here. A little bit more sauce. This is the key, yeah. guys. Boys, get a burger in. Get here. a burger. There's a few I'll there. I'll, I'll grab go, into it, mate. I'll go this little sloppy one right over here. Look at that. This is. Unbelievable. Slow cooked pork. We've got mm. a bit of cheese. We've got a homemade slaw. Mm -mm -mm. What do you reckon, boys? It's actually real good. Mm. Mm. They are bloody beautiful. Oh my goodness. That's really, really good. good. Oh, yeah. far out. Unreal. Good. Boys, good. that is one of the better mm -hmm. burgers I've ever had in my life. Mm -hmm. Dylan and Kat, thank you for submitting that one, mate. I made that one and it's an absolute treat. It's a winner with the boys. Mm -hmm. I'm going to say, I've only got half a burger left. He's got none left. I'm on three, <laughs> He's done. The boys are done. We might even have seconds here. Tell you what, mm -hmm. thank you very much. That is an absolute win up. Sit mm -hmm. around the fire, what do you reckon? Sounds like a plan. Yeah, All right, right. I'm going to get another one, Jack. Yep, mm -hmm. that'll do, mate. Mm -hmm. mm. It's so often the case that the best campsites are the ones just a little bit further off the beaten track. And right now, that extra bit of driving yesterday to get here is feeling pretty darn worth it. We've got one more day to enjoy the tracks of coughs before we head back to the real world. And we're gonna be making the most of it with some tough wheeling and a secret local waterfall to check out. Coffs Harbour sees plenty of rain throughout the year, and that means the rivers are usually flowing with fresh water that's perfect for a swim. There we go. First though, Sean's back in the kitchen and a hot bracky is on the go. <laughs> I'll tell you what, this is looking not too bad. And I love just having a base camp. You know, we're driving tough trucks around Coffs Harbour, and especially me in the old farm truck. I don't have many amenities. To be able to come back to a full-blown kitchen camper trailer, we've got just about everything we need right here. This trailer here is the Ranger Light. So what that basically means is you get all the functionality, all the mod cons of the Ranger, but in a lightweight setup. So they've actually shaved 500 kilos off this trailer compared to the Ranger, making it come in at about 1,200 kilos. So what that basically means is you can tow it on the Tough tracks out at Coffs Harbour here, take it to a camp, you can tow it behind just about any vehicle. And they've actually shortened it a little bit as well, so it's perfect for tracks like this where it's really windy through the mountains, tow is really easy, and importantly, it fits in any size garage. It gets my tick of approval. In fact, boys, we're up, I think. On today's agenda is another classic Coffs Harbour number, the Jeep track. This one will be a huge challenge for the farm truck, but I'm keen to give it a crack. And we're soon packing away camp as we get ready for another big day. Well, that's not too bad at all. I mean, this has got to be one of the most basic 12 volt setups you can run in a vehicle. Just a real old um, Red Arc BCDC. It used to originally uh, reside in the Dirty 30. Now it's in the farm truck here. I've just got one um, AGM battery and I run a fridge, my camp lights, all my 12 volt accessories in the back of the farm truck. Still got about 65% left after a night's camping. That's not too bad. Today I'll drive around the tracks and charge that back up to 100% and uh, do it all again tonight, probably, no doubt. The Bellinger River flows for over 100 k's down to the Coffs Coast, and it makes for a pretty perfect way to freshen up before a hard day on the tracks. The current is flowing at a rate of knots, and you can literally float your way back to camp. and fresh mate. What I'm a new camp. man. How good is that? That camp so is good. so good. Epic. We'll be back. Perfect swim. Here we go. With the 47's warm-up exercises done, we're pushing back to the coast and to the northern side of Coffs around Wedding Bell State Forest. While we're checking out Jeep Track, Bailey's going to be taking his rig for some sightseeing around the area. We'll meet up again later in the Arvo. Soon we 
getting near the start of Jeep Track, which starts in a muddy valley and then climbs up a steep ridge full of rock steps and some wild panel scraping ruts. Well, this is the start of Jeep Track. A um, little mini gunshot down into a creek and then up this clay sort of climb here. A couple of big ruts. You want to try and keep out of the ruts if you can. Jocko will have a go with this first up and uh, judging on how he goes, he gives a bit of confidence, I suppose, or maybe not. <laughs> oh, that's steeper than I remember. Wee! That's the departure angle goal. I'm going to try and straddle that, right? When it comes to clay like this, traction is pretty much non-existent and the pony is going nowhere. Well, that's not the way I wanted to go. No, it sort of fell out of that rut, didn't it? You, it was going good at the start, then that rear fell in. There we go, there we go. Nice one, Jogo. How good's that? Big tyres, couple of lockers, and uh, some good commitment. That'll do that. All right. I've got none of those things, except for the commitment. <laughs> <laughs> well, Sean's bringing the big farm truck up. Hopefully, he can stay out of the ruts and just crawl his way up. He's going to be getting the workout with no power steering, I reckon. Is all the stuff. <laughs> Can't quite get the reps for that one. Can you try to turn a bit later so come up that way a bit more? That's it. No uh, fun, <laughs> Ah. Woo wee! <laughs> Oh, well, we had fun. <laughs> the challenge here is getting the farm truck lined up to straddle those ruts. And the more I try and adjust, the worse the angle gets. <laughs> well, I'll have a winch. <laughs> <laughs> yep, that's what I call stuck. Weapon. What a weapon! <laughs> oh. Now this is my baby. Treat her with as much respect as I do. <laughs> this is Jacko's first time wheeling the big mid 79 on hard tracks, and he's got a bit of warming up to do. I can see. Wow. Oh, so slippery. It is though. <laughs> so there's just nothing to grab. The 79 is on song, but it doesn't want to climb. How are you? Well done, mate. The start of Jeep Track has proven to be a bit of a challenge, but around the bends, things don't get any easier, with the start of the main climb and some pretty serious rock steps to navigate. All right, first time taking the pony up Jeep track. Let's see what happens. I'm gonna try to straddle this rut, I reckon. Easy, loves it. The pony really is just a track-eating weapon, and he's up the first steps with zero dramas. The farm truck might not be as flashy, but with some careful wheel placement, it's slowly creeping its way up. The key with no lockers is to avoid the ruts and unnecessarily crossing up the tyres, and therefore minimising traction loss. And it seems to be working pretty well. That's it. Beautiful. You've really got to think about where your tyres are. A big rock crawler. Yeah. 
Crawley boy. Yes. What a yeah. win. Yeah. That's so cool. What a weapon. What an absolute weapon. Like a 40 year old rock crawler. That might have been the greatest drive ever in the farm truck. I think the farm truck's just starting to learn this job. It's done a fair bit of fencing and probably cattle muster in its time, but it's starting to learn that the work for today is big rock steps and um, got a fair few to go. So hopefully she can keep up. Easy. Easy done. The Mitz boys are making the most of those new lockers and the big rig is cruising on through. Right, on to the next challenge. Is that your shroud? I think it's a fan hitting the shroud. Yeah, it's just the angle, I think. I just have a quick look at that. Yeah. I want to check the turbo's still there and everything. Yeah. Just check the supercharger's got the belt on still. I'm checking here to see if there's anything obstructing the fan or for cracks in the shroud, but it seems like in this case, it's just the pony having a grumble when she's flexed up too much. Mm. Fair enough. Don't know. <laughs> that wasn't shut properly. <laughs> Jeep Track offers a stack of technical rock challenges to test you and the Forby. But with some good spotting, this track can be also a heck of a lot of fun. Come on, farm truck, up here go. Yes! That's it, that is it. Up we go, bit of momentum. Hey! What a weapon! <laughs> the 79 should have a blast through this section, but I reckon there's going to be a whole lot of wheel waving on the way through. Look at that thing, it's an absolute rig. Good line, good line. That's a ticket, that's a ticket, that is a ticket! To the top. That's it boys, that's it. Well driven, well driven. Yeah, yeah that's, that's a perfect line boys, just right up that. Yep, well played, well played. Yeah, buddy! Yes! Unbelievable drive, and it goes to show like this little unit here alone has probably saved more money in terms of panel damage than all my cars put together. And I'll tell you what, it does an absolute treat as well. The GME one, this is an old one, I've had it for years as well. We're on the GME stuff inside the farm truck. That's actually the old GME out of the Dirty 30. So that one's about 15 years old. Still works an absolute treat as well. So I think with communication is one of those things buy once, buy right, get the right gear that's going to last. And to be honest with you, I simply wouldn't travel without good communications out in the bush, as simple as that. Up ahead is a serious rocky challenge, and the entry to this one requires putting all your passenger side panels on the line, and it's worth a bit of a second look before you attempt it. All right, let's see what happens. Last time I did this in my car, it was a big angle. Straddling that shaley bank is a very risky move, because you could slip in. The best play here is to put your passenger tyres in the rut and use your bar work on the bank. There goes the GoPro. Look at that. Yeah. That's what I mean, there. If I can just bring the nose around now. Did I feed the tub? Yeah, that's all right. It's a good drive though, mate. Is it just a tail light? Yeah. yeah oh, no. that's genuine Toyota. And the tray. Spewing. I reckon I might need to design something to protect those lights. That's about the fifth one I've smashed in. But for now, the pony is crawling on through. Straight up, I know, straight up. 
Ah, oh, it's a little beastly thing. Oh, oh the top, hang on. Come on. There it goes. Yeah. There it goes. Oh, what Never a doubt the pony. Pony has continued to surprise me. The little pony that could, eh? That last rock step is probably a bit too much for an old rig and the 79 series panels. So we're taking him around to a B line. In the rut, still got it. Don't find the farm truck will get the job done. The final section of Jeep track takes you back into the forest, and at this point, the track is pretty much done and dusted. Or so we thought. Ooh, that's a bit of a straddle dog, it looks slippery. Might still have enough. Oh, there we go. That's it. That's it, mate. Ooh, that's it, that's it, yeah! Sean is trying to follow the pony's line in that rut, but the 47 isn't having a bar so of it. Close. <sighs> you did well on that bit. Can I go down and have one more go, actually? <laughs> 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 oh, that doesn't so angry at me. That's all she's got. We're going to have to winch the farm truck through this one, but I've just made Why a pretty simple rookie again? error that could potentially end in disaster. Uh-oh, uh-oh, I can't, I can't hold it. Up, oh, Tim, back up! Back up! That's why you should stay in the car when you're doing recoveries. This was a simple mistake that caught us totally by surprise. And it's a bit of a reminder to never trust a Toyota handbrake. I've left the 47 in gear with the brake on, but the old rig started to roll back on compression, and then bounced out of gear a few moments later. You can see the Mitz guys madly reversing in the background. And if the 47 hadn't wedged itself into a bit of a tree root, it could have been a huge disaster. I thought it was going to hit the Mitz truck for sure. So, I thought it was. It, was, it, had, a, it had some momentum for me. Yeah, I thought it was going to pick up speed and hit their car full tilt. And that's just proof right there, you can never be too careful. But luckily, we came through this one with no injuries or vehicle damage. Just stay on the winch no matter what. Winch in, just keep winching in. I'll tell you what, the four-wheel drive gods were looking Whee! down on us that day. Get him out of the rut. That feels better already. <laughs> Well, I reckon that's about enough excitement for one day, but we've got more items to tick off the trip bucket list, and for that, we're rejoining up with Bailey and heading out to a local only spot that needs to be seen to be believed. If you look hard enough after some fresh rainfall, you might just be lucky and find this incredible hidden waterfall overlooking the hills of Coffs. What a stunning way to wrap up an awesome trip with the boys. Coffs Harbour, mate. mate. It never fails to disappoint. Absolutely. Tough tracks and also some of the most spectacular scenery you ever see in Australia. What a Corbett. stunning way to end the trip as well. I yeah. know, mate. I've been riding around with no aircon. We've had swimming holes right around the Coffs region, found a stack of hidden gems. Mate, you wheeled the absolute heck out of the pony. Oh, she absolutely loved it. And it just goes to show, as we said before, that you don't need to spend a lot of money on an old vehicle to go out and see places like this which is a bit of a hidden secret. I think we're going to keep it that way. But, yeah, uh, absolutely, absolutely. Do your own research, guys, and get and explore this Coffs area because I trust me when I say this, it's one of the best full drive destinations in the country. Without a doubt. Without absolutely, a doubt. mate. Look, I don't know about you, but I wouldn't mind going here for one absolutely, more swim. Absolutely. Get a heck of a sunset down there as well. I was just thinking that. The sun comes down, we're both still in that rock pool. Almost right, I'll tell you, I'll, tell you, I'll be out before that. There's no doubt about it, guys. <laughs> make sure you do yourself a favour. Come down to Coffs Harbour and check out places just like this for yourself. All right, mate, let's go. Let's do it. Catch you next time. See ya. Coming up, folks, is all the fun of the four-wheel drive 24-7 outtakes. But first, 
let's check out some of the gear we rely on in places like this. Well, Coffs Harbour, mate, mate, unreal trip. It's so much fun down here. You've got to get yourself down to Coffs Harbour. And this is the part of the trip where we want to go through some of the items of gear we've used Definitely. to get us through. And I'll tell you what, I didn't use much gear. Like really, Kept this is a simple. super stock vehicle, mm -hmm. but I do have a secret on there, mate, which I didn't t I didn't say much about, but I do have aftermarket shocks in the old girl, because yep, trust me, yep. I'm still standing upright. I still have a back attached. I mean, you know, I've had somewhat sort of comfortable ride through here. Definitely, mate. And you know, old leafy vehicles, it's nice to have a bit more comfort. I put a fulcrum two inch lift in the LM106 last year and it just made it so much nicer on the Anyone road. Anyone who says you can't get leaf springs to flex, well, just have a, look, have a look at the pony, mate. <laughs> and mate, in combination, the old fulcrum suspension and the Goodyear tyres, got the Duratrax on this. They're still in the splitties and it goes to show Goodyear make a range of tyres for just about any single wheel size out there. Even the old farm truck, trust me, if I didn't have those tyres, I would have been winching a heck of a lot of the way, mate. Definitely, Pretty much mate. the whole of Coffs Harbour. But you saw me, I gave it a red hot go and um, it scrabbled a little bit, but just found enough traction to get me through some of the tough bits and I'm so surprised what the old girl could do. Mate, it was an awesome trip and we got to wear some pretty awesome clothing on this one as well. Snatch, we've been wearing it on the tracks for years. I've put the Aussie tee on, which is 100% Australian made and it's really nice to, you know, be doing tough Aussie tracks with an Aussie made shirt on. Absol it just makes it feel real good. Absolutely, mate. That's the thing about Snatch, it's made by four wheel drivers, four four wheel drivers. Everything we have on the Snatch clothing store has been tested out in the bush by a us. A lot of testing. Exactly right. <laughs> if it doesn't last a week on our backs, got trying through ruts and you know, pulling the winch out and all that sort of stuff, well, it's just not suited for the website. They're always releasing brand new designs just like this one here. So jump onto snatchclone.com.au, get yourself a bargain, and mate, speaking of bargains, there's one quick thing I want to mention, yep. and that's fullwheeldrive247.com. Now, that is the place to go to get a lot of the gear that we talk about and use on our tracks and um, get it at the best possible price. So do yourself a favour, jump on the website and get yourself a bargain. Mate, I reckon uh, next up we've got the outtake, so... We do. Guys, stick around. And uh, yeah, we went a little bit loopy in coughs. Check this one out, eh? Yeah, it kind of limits our options because you can't punch the axle out from the other side. There's like a, I think it's a cross shaft that goes through. <laughs> 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 bing bong, you got me, bing bong. Bing bong. Bing bong. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, what a fight. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Look at the head on this bloke. <laughs> right. Mate, what an absolute weapon. <laughs> He's looking at me, buddy. I'm not, that's just how I look. <laughs> I'm a consummate professional. Yeah. <laughs> right, mate, what an absolute weapon. Super tour on some tough tracks in Costa <laughs> Absolutely. There's not a mountain that you can't climb. <laughs> There's not a river you can make it over. I was going to say, Tim actually made that drive a lot easier than your piece of camera. Like, <laughs> yeah, no, he, he did. did. He, he just did. nailed it up He there. did. Nice and comfy. Cheers, mate. Yeah, I don't have a beer, but cheers. <laughs> oh, I do. <laughs> <laughs> you never had a beer. Like, yeah, like yeah, yeah. Because that moment right there, he realised he's stuffed up. <laughs> <laughs> I like rocks. Woo-wee! And if you're not sure if the thread's straight, just close your eyes and don't worry about it. <laughs> Oh, there's no, too many things. Pre Madonna. Pre Madonna double fish, they call it. This camera guy filming me, vlog. <laughs> oh, look at that, he pulls his hair off. You've been in the bush for five days now and it's still flash. Look at these grey streaks. That's wisdom, my friend. <laughs> Mr. Skinner to the manager's office. Manager's office, Mr. Skinner. You are looking sensational. <laughs> 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 Right on, man. Right now, this is where I need your help, mate. You got clean hands? No. You got clean hands? Yes. <laughs> With the, the horn! It works! So there's a silver lining to every cloud. Snap an axle, get a working horn. Coughs, it gives, and it takes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you found a few mushrooms in the bush, did you, Jocko? Woo!